but you're gonna have to go all the way to Hollywood to check it out. Doesn't look like Twitterverse though. Mine's the idea of some travel. One user posted, OMG, 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 OMG. <laughs> Who is down to go to this? I gotta go. A Star Wars pop-up cantina is coming to Hollywood. Down to the point there. I think, I think <laughs> we know how they feel. And you know what? Maybe I could go and every morning I have my Kylo Ren water bottle here. So I usually take a swig of water. Maybe I can get that filled up at the cantina. <laughs> but I have to go out to Hollywood, but I think it'd be a nice I think it'd be more than uh, nice water, trip. too. Well, yeah, maybe, but, you know. I gotta, okay. I gotta check your Twitter to see if you did the OMG, the OMG, OMG. It sounds just like a Mike Joyce comment. If that were it? me, well, no, that one wasn't me, but I, I kind of feel that way. So. You feel that internally. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Just maybe not tweeting that out. Our dive is 557. A social media scare is cleared up in Springboro. Who is behind the suspicious... In all right, welcome back, everybody. We are talking about grilling hacks on this Monday morning, the 4th of July. I am a huge fan of grilling. I'll even grill out when it's 20 to 20 below zero outside. Fortunately, we are not dealing with that yeah, today. We do have the rain. Right, we do have the rain. It is drizzling a little bit right now. But what do we have for uh, our hacks this morning? Okay, so for the first step, if you are going to be cleaning or cooking, that is, you want to clean your grill. And so an easy way to do that and to kind of avoid those chemicals, you take an onion, you you cut it in half, and of course you want to use one of the grill forks, not right, one right. of these forks because you don't want to be too close to like thing. But basically <laughs> you just rub the onion over. We're launching into space for today's question. We know that Saturn has a ring system, but which of these planets also has a little bit of a smaller ring system? Is it Mars, Venus, or Neptune? I'll be bringing that your way in about 10 minutes. And we're going to take a quick break, so it's but weather-wise, I mean, it's really not much of an impact. Right, we're not really having any trouble out there, at least because of the weather, and we're going to talk about the chance of rain for your evening commute, but right now we have to launch back into space for our question this morning. We know that Saturn has rings, it's pretty obvious, but another set of planets does also have rings, and which one of these is part of that other set of planets? Is it Mars, Venus, or Neptune? Well, there's a difference between one of these three right off the bat. The fact that Mars and Venus are what we call terrestrial planets, like Earth, you can actually stand on them. But Neptune is what we call a gas giant. And like all the other gas giants, they do have a small ring system. So the answer is Neptune. Jupiter and Uranus also have rings, but they aren't as easy to uh, see on photos, much like Saturn's very impressive ring. So there's your space fact for today. Now we're landing back on Earth right at home, and we have our satellite and radar, which is clear for most of us. That kind of all right, well, welcome back, everybody. It's time for dogs of the day. We're doing two dogs on this Monday morning. We have Belle and Blue, probably just itching to get outside because it's a beautiful morning today, much less tropical than last week where we had temperatures in the 70s nearly every day. Today is the perfect year for the Monday Blues. I've been saying it all morning long, and I will say it again because it is wonderful out there. A little bit chilly, though. In fact, our last check in West Liberty, we were down to 47 degrees in the Mad River Valley. Really incredible. The rest of us, though, the mid 50s, especially in the Dayton metro area, and that sunshine is intense already. I can't find any clouds anywhere in the Miami Valley this morning. If you can find one, send me a picture. I'd like to see it, but I don't think we're going to find many out there today. Natalie, though, are the roads doing all right on this beautiful morning? A good morning. We have a major traffic morning unfolding here in the Miami Valley, specifically on I 75 north of Dayton. This is a very, very large backup. We can see ODOT trying to adjust the camera as we speak, but we can see where this backup is occurring I-75 at I-70. This is right in the Vandalia area, so if you're heading north from Dayton up into Troy, Tip City, into Vandalia, I would take another route because we have two incidents, an accident and cleanup from an earlier accident where a truck was on fire. So this is a major area that we're dealing with right now, and we can see how red it is on the map. Definitely take another route, and there our live shot is. Jason Poor is out there reporting on this and keeping us up to date from uh, how the crews are doing and cleaning this up, but boy, does it look a little bit nasty out there. We'll keep you updated through the morning and if any other incidents appear, we have weather and traffic every 10 minutes. And speaking of weather this morning, let's get right to it. It's going to be a beautiful morning weather wise. The sun rises in just more than three minutes, 615 this morning, 66 degrees out there will be the average temperature. The dew points in a similar position, so we're feeling muggy, but not like yesterday, and we'll see some sunshine and a few clouds out there. Now this evening, sun Sunset still at 908. A couple of thunderstorms possible with temperatures in the upper 70s. It's going to be a warm and muggy day, but at least we still have that sunset at 908 in the evening.